Good morning. It's Monday, June 10th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Constructing the Kingdom, and our scriptures, Ephesians chapter 4. Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church, the body of Christ. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. When God puts a gift in your hand, you're supposed to use it. That was the example God created as he formed the New Testament era church. God placed gifts of apostle, evangelism, and pastor-teacher in the lives of individuals like Paul, Peter, James, John, Timothy, Priscilla, and Aquila, to name a few. These men and women did not place these gifts on a shelf to be admired. They staked their lives on using these precious blessings to build up God's kingdom church. That example and the process, God giving a gift, God's children using that gift, and Jesus by his spirit maturing and multiplying everything about the church, has not changed since the birth of the church at Pentecost 2,000 years ago. Something else has not changed about that process and the kingdom. Some people use their gift as a precious tool to build while others lay it on a shelf because they either don't have the heart to do the work or they're afraid they'll mess up the work so they never begin. After all, there is something intimidating about knowing you're handling the holy, knowing God is watching. I was once given a gift of a camera. It was a brand new 7 megapixel gem. I was on my way to Africa to participate in a mission project and these dear friends wanted to undergird what I was doing. At the time, I'd just turned 60 and had never been involved in hands-on missions on foreign soil before. I was nervous about the trip, and truth be told, I had thoughts of pulling out. The gift was meant to encourage me, and it did that immeasurably. But the gift also strengthened and challenged me to throw myself into the work. After all, if human friends would believe in me, hey, that camera was expensive, and they also placed money in my hands to bless and extend ministry, well, I felt like I was in a corner to do my very best to follow God's leading. I couldn't record with that camera the smells, the heat, and stark poverty I encountered in southern Africa on that trip. But the depth of how God's Spirit is working on that continent came alive in me as I did my best to labor and keep a visual record of the work with that camera. The experience made deep memories, and the pictures I took have served as monuments ever since to constantly remind me of what kingdom construction really looks like. So, you might be asking, What does that have to do with me? I'm not a prophet, pastor, or missionary. No apostle here. I'm just an average guy who goes to church, and I'm a substitute teacher for the third grade Sunday school class. But that's just the point. Who were Peter, James, and John anyway? They were fishermen, scratching out a living with a leaky boat and old nets in need of repair. They had families and responsibilities. Life was no easier for them than for any human child God ever created. The difference in their lives and in the construction of God's kingdom here on earth was when they began to realize God had spoken gifts of ministry into their lives. That trust built up their faith and caused them to understand that was the very mission they were commissioned to extend. They were gifted to build up people and so build the church. For you today, it's an old saying, but how could I not say it? God uses ordinary people to accomplish extraordinary things. And to borrow a little master card thinking and shape it into the real master's building code, what's in your gift wallet? And more importantly, how will you use your gifts today? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.